Hi there, I'm Verified Algo Trading Champion Kevin Davey, and today I'm going to talk to you about real life algo trading equity curves. So let's get started. Okay, in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share some of the equity curves, what they look like for strategies I've traded, currently trade uh, in my own accounts. So these are real. These are ones that have warts and, you know, they have drawdowns, that kind of thing. But they're realistic. You know, they're not these pie in the sky kind of algo equity curves that you might see out there. These are real. Okay, so the big thing with the equity curves, and here's one of them, is sometimes they fail. And that's the point I really want to show today is not every curve or every strategy that you create is going to make money long term forever. Some can make money for a while and then they fall apart. Other ones fall apart right at the beginning, even when you develop strategies properly. But when you use a, an approach to development that is consistent and repeatable and you've proven it works in real time, you're going to get more strategies that work in real time than if you're kind of haphazard the way you develop strategies. So keep that in mind. But this is a good example. When I built this strategy, I used the data in white. And I stopped development right where that blue section starts. And I used walk forward optimization. And you can see, this is a pretty decent looking equity curve. Um, you know, it didn't make new highs every day. No strategy does. But it was pretty decent. It passed all my tests. So then I started to do live trading with it. Uh, and you can see at the beginning, it kind of faltered. It had to draw down right, right after development. But eventually it recovered and then went on for quite a while doing pretty well. And then all of a sudden around trade, uh, what, 480 or so, it started to go south. And the strategy started to suffer, recovered a little bit, kept going. And at some point, somewhere along here, you'd say, hey, this strategy's broken. This is no longer worth trading. And you'd probably shut it off or at least put it to the side and monitor it to see if it recovers. But that's what happens a lot of times is strategies will work for a period of time and then maybe the market changes. Maybe uh, something with the central bank and they do something to mess you up. Maybe some of the fundamentals change. Who knows? Uh, you can always come up with a reason after the fact, but in real time, it's hard to come up with a reason to say, oh, hey, this strategy is going to fail tomorrow. You usually don't see it until it's already kind of going south. But I wanted to show you this because this was a real strategy that I did trade. And then at some point, I stopped trading it because it no longer was working. And I want to show that because... You know my background, and you know that I've won trading contests and won a bunch of trophies in trading contests and real money trading contests, but I wanted to make a point that even I have strategies that fail, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. I don't like it, but that's the way it is. You're going to have strategies that fail. The key points here, no strategy lasts forever. You know, go ask people who are doing the turtle trades from, what, 30, 40 years ago or whenever that was. Are they still working? Probably not. So things that used to work might not work today. No strategy really lasts forever. Or at least the way I look at it is I always plan on strategies breaking. I have strategies I've traded for 10 years and they're still chugging along, but they could break tomorrow. Who knows? And so if you go in with the mindset that no strategy is going to last forever, what you will do is you'll start 
building more and more strategies and you'll always keep strategies off to the side that can replace ones that break. The second important point here is knowing when to quit is important. You know, let's just say you start trading this and you say, well, I'm, I'm never quitting this strategy. Well, from your peak here down to this point, that's $40,000 per contract. Um, that's a lot. Now, you could say, well, yeah, but overall I probably made, I still made 20000 Yeah, but you want to come up with a, po a point where you're going to quit before you start trading. And you might say, hey, I'm going to quit when I hit a $20,000 drawdown, just as an example. So you would have quit here. Yeah, that would have hurt, but look what you would have not gotten hurt by that second $20,000 drawdown. So again, the key points here, based on this real equity curve, no strategy lasts forever, and you have to know when to quit. Hopefully this has helped you out. If it has, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know. How many strategies have you had fail? Have you gone your whole career never failing a strategy? I'd love to hear it. All right, I'm Champion Chair Kevin Davey. Have a great day.